Vince, thanks. This morning, a family struggle as a local four-year-old boy battles a life-threatening kidney disorder, but there is a way that you can help. Andrew Doty seems like any other kid his age. He's a very active four-year-old right now. He runs around, plays. But Andrew is not just like every other kid. He is in a constant fight for his life, and the battleground is his kidneys. Andrew suffers from a disease where cysts cover his kidneys, pushing out healthy tissue and stopping them from doing their job. As his cysts grow and multiply, his kidney function will decrease to a point where he'll either have to have a transplant or go on to dialysis. For now, this little patient is regularly poked and prodded, testing his blood pressure, getting ultrasounds, and taking daily medication. It's tough for his mom to endure, too. It's stressful for me. Um, it's hard to see any child go through the testing and just knowing that his life is going to be full of tests, medical tests. He's at some point going to have to either have a transplant or go into dialysis, and that's not a very happy future. And there's another stressor. These regular doctor's visits are exceptionally costly. But mom Rebecca's biggest concern is giving her son a normal, happy life. So we just kind of take it day by day and do what we can for today and hope that what we're doing now will make it so that he can have a, a longer, happier life without the intrusion of dialysis or a tra transplant. Joining me this morning is Andrew Dowdy, Rebecca Fisher, his mom, and Paul, Andrew's dad. Thanks for coming in this morning. Uh, first of all, uh, tell me, Mr. Andrew, how old are you? Four. Four years old? No, four. No, just four. Okay, got it. And I asked you if you wanted to be on TV, and you didn't really, you said, eh. What did you really want to see when you walked by when you came in this morning? The news station over there. Over there, the news station. And, uh, Paul, you also told me that Andrew is very interested in seeing the weather over there. Yes. So, Andrew, we'll, we'll try to get this part done quickly so that you can go talk to Michelle Muscatello about the weather, okay? Okay. Okay, okay, good. I think it's getting sunny, though. You do? Yeah. What makes you think that? Well, I saw a little bit of sun out when we went past the garage. You did? Was it hot out there? No, I didn't feel like it because I didn't stop by a garage, really. You didn't? No. Okay. What was it? Where, where, where did you come from this morning? From your garage? No, by that way, by kitchen. Oh, you came in by the kitchen. Okay, my mistake. My mistake. Well, thanks so much for coming this morning. Are you happy to be here? Yeah, my dad has to go on a meeting, and we're going to get a new desk one day tomorrow, I think. You're going to get a new desk? Yeah. For you? No, I need a desk, though, but I, I, there's, once I clamp my geo track... You have to clean up your geo track. Did the, yeah. Is that what is that what mom said? She said, "Clean up your geo track, and we'll go get a desk." Hmm. Yeah, that's what she said. Yep. Yep. Well, you know, you guys have uh, quite the uh, quite the young man here. Tell me a little bit about. First of all, Andrew, do you know what's PKD? Hmm. I have polycystic kidney disease, and I have a hard time saying that. It it is a big. It's three big words, right? Yeah. That yeah. means it's hard to say. That means it's hard to say. Yeah. Is it hard for your friends to say? Do your friends yeah. know you have this? Uh, no, but some of my friends go to PKE Walker in Bristol Park. And now, There's actually a beach way at the end. At the end of it? Now, yeah. why would they do the PKD Walk? What is that for in Bristol Park? What's it for, Mom? I forget. He forgets, Mom. What's it for? It's for, po for polycystic kidney disease to raise money for research so they can find a cure. Go like this, Mom. <clears throat> Go. <laughs> he wants you to clear your throat. That's what you, you have to do when you sound like that. You're absolutely right. <laughs> Andrew, the other thing I was wondering is your mom and dad have these bracelets on. What are those bracelets for? They were from my, po my PKD walk. I have a bouncy house to truly at my house. That's I could so actually bring it over one day. That would be great. Could I bounce in the bouncy house? Mm, yeah, but you just have to read the sign. Okay, I have to read all the rules? You take your shoes mm. off. Guys, uh, tell me, uh, of course, uh, Andrew has spoken for himself very well this morning, <laughs> but just really quickly, if people want to get involved in eliminating PKD, what's the next event that they can help raise money and hopefully, you know, maybe even support you guys as these, these uh, treatments are very costly? 
Sure. Um, the next event is going to be the third annual uh, fundraiser for polycystic kidney disease for Andrew, and it's the, at the Firefighters Hall in Providence on August 15th and 16th. It's a two-day event. There's a wonderful lineup of bands, Ernie and the Automatics and Slippery Sneakers, Digger Dog, Heavy Rescue Band, um, on the website PKD. Of ri.org, there's the whole lineup with how to get tickets and whatnot. And Paul, you're hoping a lot of people turn out for this event? Yeah, we've been uh, very fortunate to have a lot of support from the firefighters across the state as well as uh, the labor community across the state. Yeah. So, between all of them, um, we're very successful in raising both the awareness of PKD, what it's about, what the challenges are, as well as raising some much-needed funds. Guys, thanks so much for coming in this morning. I'm, I'm glad Thank Andrew you. let you get a word in it. Was <laughs> Andrew, say goodbye to everybody. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, time now to get a check of weather. And, uh, you know, Michelle Muscatello, Andrew is very excited to come and talk to you and, uh, and talk about the weather this morning. In fact, in case you don't know, he told us it looks like it's getting sunny out there. Well, I was wondering whether Andrew would come in here and actually help me do this little weather Do you want to come? Yeah. All right, come if you get here. started, I'll bring him in. All right, I'll get started. Andrew's right on track, buddy meteorologist. We do have some sunshine starting to break out through the cloud cover. It's been a slow process this morning. But we're not finding any rain or storms on live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. We're quiet over Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts. We saw a few hit or miss storms through the evening and overnight hours. Right now, though, live city cam. Hey, Andrew, he's got it right. You can see some of that sun poking through the clouds. Come on over here, Andrew. And I'm going to let you stand on my little box for some added height here. Actually, how about, do you want to sit up on the table? What do you think? Okay. All right. Here, we'll go. We'll put you up like this. Can you turn towards that camera? Actually, we'll, let's see. Can you move the camera over, Tim? We have Andrew in here. Let's just go back up. Give us our shot. So, Andrew, can you give me the forecast for today? How's it looking? Can you say sunny? Sunny, it looks like. Sunny, it looks like. And how about, how's it going to feel? It'll be warm? Yeah. Yeah. You got to look at the camera, though, Andrew. See over here? Look over this way. There you are. Can you wave to the camera? Hi. <laughs> how do you like? Do you like to go to the beach? Yeah. All right, well, we've got a good beach day for you coming up. I'll talk more about the forecast in a few minutes. Can you say, uh, we'll see you later in the show? Look over this way. Say, see you later in the show. See you later in the show. All right, thanks, Andrew. Thanks for your help. Good stuff. Back over to you, Vince.